Hi, I'm Bruce Ryder. I'm the sound engineer for a band called Five Finger Death Punch. We're on a North American tour of the United States, uh, co-headlining with a band called Volbeat. I got started off in Champaign, Illinois. There were some clubs there and a pretty great local music scene. I was friends with a lot of people in bands and was a stagehand at the assembly hall, the local arena. You know, so I got to hang out with some fantastic engineers. Um, you know, Dave Nattel was a notable one you know, that just had a, a lot of influence on the way I approached mixing sound. I got experience and was able to watch the best touring guys in the, you know, in the world do their thing. You know? I would consider myself more on the artistic side of, of mixing sound. I don't really care so much about the gear, just that I can present the artists and help them get their vision or dream out to, the, to their fans. I've worked with a wide variety of bands, from you know, bands like Rancid and Social Distortion, Limp Biscuit or Static X. Did my stint with Megadeth, tried out Danzig for a little while. You know, uh, a lot of heavy metal bands. We heard about this guy named Zoltan, you know, that you know, we thought had a funny name, so you know, they practiced martial arts also, and we practiced martial arts together and got to talking about music and you know, everything, and we realized we had a lot of similar interests, and you know, um, he asked me to come out with his band. Before you know it, they're uh, one of the most popular metal bands in the world, and, you know, and I'm lucky enough to be here with them. And one of the things that I like about the Adamson PA is, is that it sounds very natural like the instruments you know, on, on stage. You know, I, I, can, I can get the, the physical vibrations and sensation of the instruments that, that as, as I think the, the artists themselves feel it and hear it. So I, I sort of look at these tools as ways to get the artist's dream to the audience. Then there's the production manager side of me that has to figure out the, how to get it in and out of the venues and if we can afford it. Some PA systems just are so labor intensive that it, it financially won't work out. With a PA like this, we can have you know, two teams of four stagehands working with, you know, with one touring technician and the PA is up and ready to go in you know, 45 minutes or an hour. And, and I never hear them complaining about it, which is a wonderful thing too, you know. For heavy metal music, you, you have to use a lot of high end to get the click on the drums and you know, get the guitars nice and crunchy, but there's a danger in that it's painful harsh. You know, this is, this is more of a, a pleasant harsh, is that possible? Yeah. It's, it's a smooth, linear sound. All of the notes come through. There's no holes in the frequency response with this PA. The ability to make everything louder than everything else, which is sort of what metal, a metal mix is in a way, is figuring out how to make everything louder than everything else. Joel Lonke and um, Pooch. They're, you know, I think, two of the best engineers out there, you know, and, and they both gave it glowing reviews. They s spoke highly of it and said, you know, it would, it would give me what I'm, what I'm looking for. They know, they, they know sort of my mixing style or needs, and like, this is the perfect PA for you. It's just the, you know, the, the guitars are gonna sound natural and, and in your face, and, and, and the drums are gonna be punchy, and, you know, it's a nice high fidelity PA. There's maybe five that are really good, you know, the, the modern popular brand PAs, you know, and this is on the top two, I think. I don't know which one's better. I mean, it sounds fantastic. It rigs easy. It's easy to load in out of the truck. I mean, it's everything about it is, is, is easy logistics-wise, and the sound is wonderful. So, yeah, that's, I don't know how you can go wrong with that.